Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a map essay. Task 1 map questions are the easiest to answer. There are no numbers to analyse, just two or three maps to compare. Very occasionally, there might be only a single map, but this is rare. The maps will be of the same location at different times. This could be in the past, the present time, or a plan for a proposed development in the future. You're required to write about the changes you see between the maps. There are five steps to writing a high-scoring academic Task 1 essay. First, you must analyse the question. Second, identify the main features of the graphic, or map in this case. Three, write an introduction. Four, write an overview. And five, write the detailed paragraphs. I must emphasise the importance of steps 1 and 2. It's essential that you complete this planning stage properly, before you start writing. You'll understand why when I guide you through it. It should only take 5 minutes, leaving you a full 15 minutes to write your essay. In this lesson, we're going to work through the 5 stages step by step, as we answer a practice question. Before we start, Here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task 1 questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph 1 will be the introduction. Paragraph 2, an overview. In paragraph 3, you write about the first main feature. And in paragraph 4, you write about the second main feature. We now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our map essay. Here's our practice question. The map below shows a village of Stokeford in 1930 and 2010. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here is our practice question again with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence 1, which is a brief description of the graphic, sentence 2, which is the instructions, and the graphic itself, be it a chart, a graph, a table or a map in this instance. Sentence 2 tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. Select the main features, write about the main features and compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. All you are looking for are the main features. Start with the earliest map. Identify the key features and look to see how they've changed in the later map and again in the final map if there are three. Here are some useful questions to ask. 1. What time periods are shown? Are the maps of the past, present or future situations? This is important to note because it will determine whether you write your essay using past, present or future tenses. The two maps in our practice map question show the village of Stokeford at two different times in the past. This immediately tells us that we will need to use the past tense in our essay. Question 2. What are the main differences between the maps? What features have disappeared? What new features are in their place? And question 3. What features have remained the same over the time period? Although the location on the maps will have undergone major development, some features may remain unchanged. Also think about directional language you could use, such as north, south, east and west, and northeast, northwest, southeast and southwest. The examiner will like to see words such as these used, and they'll gain you marks. So what information is contained in our maps? Here they are again. There are a number of different features we could select, such as the loss of the shops, the disappearance of farmland, the enlargement of the school, 
and the development of the large house into a retirement home. Many maps will contain many more changes than in our sample maps, and the changes may be more complex. In such cases you don't have time to write about all of them, and you will need to select just two or three features to focus on. Our maps are quite simple, so we'll list all four of the major changes I've just identified. So main feature one will be the farmland has been built on. Main feature two, the large house has been converted into a retirement home. Main feature three, the school has been enlarged. And main feature four, the shops have disappeared. The key features you select will be the starting point for your map essay. You will then go on to add more detail later. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task one, and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include many details. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four-part structure we're going to use. Paragraph 1 is the introduction, paragraph 2 the overview, paragraph 3 the first main feature, and paragraph 4 the second main feature. For this essay we'll adapt this a little to write about two of the features in paragraph 3 and the other two features we identified in paragraph 4. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the maps on each slide, but if you want to refer to them as we work through the four paragraphs, bring up the map essay lesson on my website ieltsjackie.com, where you'll be able to see them. The link is in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question, that is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, here's the question. The maps below show the village of Stokeford in 1930 and 2010. And here's how you could write the introduction. The two maps illustrate how the village of Stokeford situated on the east bank of the River Stoke, changed over an 80-year period from 1930 to 2010. And that's all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should describe the general changes that have taken place. The detail comes later in the essay. For example, there was considerable development of the settlement over these years and it was gradually transformed from a small rural village into a largely residential area. Two sentences would be better than one for the second paragraph, but we'll be getting into the detail if we say more about these maps at this point, so we'll leave the overview as one sentence. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your map essay are where you include more detailed information. In paragraph 3, you should give evidence to support your first one or two key features. In the case of our main features, 1 and 3 are closely related, so we'll write about these two together. Here they are again. Main feature 1, the farmland has been built on, and main feature 3, the school has been enlarged. And this is an example of what you could write. The most notable change is the presence of housing in 2010 on the areas that were farmland back in 1930. New roads were constructed on this land and many residential properties built. In response to the considerable increase in population, the primary school was extended to around double the size of the previous building. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your remaining key features. Here are the two we have left. Main feature two, the large house has been converted into a retirement home. And main feature four, the shops have disappeared. And this is an example of what you could write. Whilst the post office remained as a village amenity, the two shops that can be seen to the northwest of the school in 1930 no longer existed by 2010, having been replaced by houses. There also used to be an extensive property standing in its own large gardens, situated to the southeast of the school. At some time between 1930 and 2010, this was extended and converted into a retirement home. 
This was another significant transformation for the village. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. Pause the video and read through it so that you can hear how the four paragraphs flow from one to the other. This sample map essay is well over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. That's why it's essential to select just a few of the main features to write about. Now use what you've learnt in this lesson to practice answering other map questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.